Hey guys, this is Tommy again, 7.62, back with my Kato. Uh, this is now DCC and scale Santa Fe uh, layout. Um, what I want to do is, is just kind of show you the basics. If you're getting started in N scale and you decide you want to upgrade to DCC, uh, the track you're going to see here is Kato. And a um, couple of units I got here running this, of course, is the Bachman. Easy Command Center and the Kato Power Pack to run the um, the layouts, uh, the turnouts, I should say. Um, I basically just got information off the internet uh, towards the forum sites. I was going to go to a train show, but I could not make it. So I'm just going to show you this. Uh, this Bachman Easy Command Control Center is good for starters, especially for somebody that's going to have on a 4x8, 4x10 table. Uh, my table is a 4x10. I added a couple more feet to it. And um, that's about the biggest size I can do right now. And so this is a really good unit to get there for starters. Um, you can get it for about under, probably about $110 if you look on eBay or look on the internet. Or maybe at your nearest hobby hobby place that might have this so um, you know it's not too terribly expensive but it's, it's pretty simple and um, what you do is if you got Kato track and everything uh, the best thing that I did was to make sure you have proper enough feeders to power the whole unit system uh, because I got this double crossover here I did, right here um, you gotta have feeders four of them you know one on this side one on this side one on the other and one on the other as well uh, to power this but also to just have enough power to power the whole track and what you do is when you get the easy command control center uh, you'll get this red wire here with some ends like this and what you do is I uh, hooked up the feeders two blue on this side and two white um, right there uh, mainly to power this track and everything uh, another thing that I did was um, I got this kind of an extension thing add-on where I hooked up three of them and then this one here goes into it and then I got a separate wire um, down here as well and because I got a total of four and the fourth one will hook up there but that's how you do it you know you put white on one side and blue on the other and that's how you get it now I'll probably go ahead and put some tape on it or I'll put some of those one deals you screw on uh, I'm thinking of getting that, but I'm not for sure yet if I'm really done uh, on the system here. Now, as we go over here, this is what powers the layouts, um, the turnouts here and stuff. And um, I got them marked here like um, this is one. See that? And um, what I do is I hooked all this to this, to the DC unit part of the Kato. And that's what takes care of that. I got seven turnouts and... It all works and everything, and to prove this, that it does work here, I'm going to go over here. I already got the train engines powered. I got two of them, so I got number five here. I'm going to turn that on, and you'll see here's another train coming. Here's three. Turn that on, and there you go. And I um, <clears throat> just want to show you this here. I just, I'm going to slow this one down a little bit, and um, be coming over here. The other one's going pretty quick here. I'm going to slow it down here. And um, just show you that. And uh, I'm going to take the tripod off and just kind of show you what's going on here. And like I said, I'll just show you over here. It's like I said, it's on a 4x10 outlet of a table. And um, just to show you all the turnouts I got. Move them over here. Show you what it looks like. Uh, so far, I've probably ran about five hours so far. There's been no issues as for electrical shorts or anything like that. And um, on there, and I'll just put it right here. And this is something you really can do yourself. It's not too hard to do. Uh, Bachman does have a YouTube about this that I recommend. I will put it um, a link on it. It will teach you how to use this unit, also how to program your engines, and also too how to set up to run two, three, four engines together, kind of like a like something you see outside on a real train uh, powering it. Now, um, like I said before, 
on your crossover if you get something like that you gotta have like i said two feeders on one side two feeders over here to power this unit but this has enough power it's powering everything because all the turnouts uh do work out and i have no issues again whatsoever but you know like i said this is something pretty simple for somebody who wants it on you know just a regular four by eight four by ten table i um, mean it's more different if you're gonna do like 600 square foot thousand square foot uh, track and stuff like this this probably won't be right this unit probably not good for you uh, that's when you have to go a different type of system where it requires a lot more wiring which is meaning you got to have some electrical knowledge and um, you know that part so I just thought of warning you about that but I'm not really gonna I don't have the space really to do that so I think this is good enough for me um, you know one of the reasons why I got this is just because of um, um, you know, I, I got a train set as a kid a long time ago from my mom and dad. Uh, they're both not with me no more. Uh, one thing about Santa Fe, a little history, is because my father worked for the railroad for 42 years. And um, it's just something here I'm doing to honor him. Um, it's just something that, that, you know, provided the family, you know, food and clothing and place to live and everything like that. And it was a job that he really enjoyed. And so I'm just trying to kind of do this, like I said, in his loving memory and everything. And um, eventually, my little nephews and stuff like that, I will um, pass this on to them. Um, I already gave one of my uh, relatives some train and track and everything. So maybe as they get older, they can get it set up. And um, hopefully maybe they can go DCC or something like that where they can run more engines and all that part. So, um, but that's it. Like I said, it's just something simple for there to you to use and everything. And um, the engines, I bought them as DC, and then I bought the uh, decoders uh, also. I did them myself. It's pretty simple on those. There are plenty of videos, depending on what engine company you got. These are Kato engines. So, um, it wasn't too hard to do and everything. So, it's something simple. So that you can do now sometimes on eBay um, some some sellers will have the um, already equipped with DCC ready to run uh, they charge you a little extra for it if you don't feel comfortable you know you may spend a little few more dollars and go that route but if you're kind of like me a little bit techy about it and stuff and want to save some money there uh, that's the best thing to do is buy the unit and then just find what decoder you want and um you know to get started but like i said i'll do another video probably late in the summertime i'm hoping to have maybe another engine or two um also too i'll probably have more freight cars uh all together i got 31 freight cars and two engines i do got some more freight cars coming up uh my goal is to have about oh i don't know up to 60 freight cars i just don't know yet i think i can add a little bit more track uh, to this layout. I think I can. We'll see what happens. I do got extra feeders just in case I need to, you know, power it more. But son has told me that should have enough and everything. So that's it for now. Uh, this is Tommy Gun 7.62 signing off. You guys, you have a great weekend. Take care.